real quick, I wanted to uh, get everybody together, uh, not only through COVID, but with everything else that's been going on, you know, the, the city is in a situation where a lot of people are dealing with stress and other issues, and a lot of that comes out with their uh, calls for help. And you guys have been on that front line now for quite some time. And I realized that. And I also realized that it's been difficult because you can't be in a room together in order to be able to do the work that's absolutely essential for this city to get by. Um, and just to take a moment to be able to hear, Wendy, from you about, you know, what the challenges have been and how you've been able to overcome them. Because if there's one complaint I have not received during the entire COVID pandemic is that uh, I called 311 and whatever. Uh, it appears that your team has been doing an exceptional uh, job <clears throat> despite the abilities to be in a centralized office. And just uh, how you've been able to manage that and then um, some of the challenges that you've had to overcome. Well, first of all, we are really grateful because Santi and Heidi were able to get my entire team home in such a short period of time. And knowing that everyone was working safely, that took off the most stress and pressure of all. Um, and then hooking up Microsoft Teams, it's like we're still together because we get to chat and we still have the same sense of camaraderie and it's really been wonderful. I don't think that most people, at least uh, the citizens of Pittsburgh, even understand that 311 is operational but working from home. Uh, beyond the initial challenges, uh, are there any other barriers that you're facing that have been able to lessen the amount of productivity that you are uh, usually able to do? Honestly, Mayor, I've been shocked at how seamless the transition was. It seems to be going so smoothly. My team is so happy working from home. I think it'll be difficult to get them back <laughs> in the office. <laughs> we do miss each other. We're a very close-knit team, so that's the toughest thing. Uh, we're going to try to have a team happy hour tonight to kick off customer service week, which starts next week. So we're excited about that. Can you introduce the team, Wendy? I would love to, yes. So Naomi Johnson is my right hand, and she's actually been with 311 with me from the very beginning, and I couldn't do it without her. Uh, Matthew Klink's our other supervisor, and uh, fabulous as well. He's He's been with us for quite a while and moved up into that position. Uh, my full-time staff, we have Michelle Perini, who goes above and beyond cleaning up the database for us. Uh, we have Jackie O'Toole. We have Wayne Wyant. We have Janelle McClung. We have, am I forgetting, Jessica Jeffers, who unfortunately had uh, two root canals this week. Mm -hmm. um, our part-time, wait, I forgot a full-time person. Who did I forget, Nay? Oh, uh, our part time we have yeah. Deb, Tyler, Drew, and JB, Jessica Redcook. Oh, Wayne, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's saying that like, full time. Did I get him? Did I miss anybody? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, the reason that I wanted to just talk to each of you is first to thank you uh, on behalf of the people of the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, through this uh, very, very trying time. You guys really have taken it to an exceptional level uh, and you've done it seamlessly. And, and I realize IMP has been a, a, a very, very strong partner in making sure that the technology side was made available to you. But at that same time, uh, you guys have been knocking it out of the park and I just wanted you to be recognized for that. And the second reason is to award you with the Sophie Masloff Award for the Employees of the Month. Uh, Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank this you. Is a team. I mean, you guys have done a great job. Uh, I, I couldn't be more proud of you. And at the same time, during this time when the city needs those essential workers, that's you. 
You know, I mean, we hear it about the doctors and the nurses and everyone else, but all those issues that people rely on their government to take care of, you've been taking care of it during a global pandemic. And I, I just can't thank you enough for the, the way that you work together, number one, as a team, and the way that you've been able to respond to the people of the city of Pittsburgh with their needs. So let me... <laughs> Let me recite, and then each of you are going to get a copy of this as well. Uh, whereas Pittsburgh's 311 Response Center was launched in 2006 as a central one call system for all non emergency City of Pittsburgh service requests. And whereas since its launch, the 311 Response Center has provided a one-stop shop for Pittsburgh residents and guests reporting a pothole, broken street light, or a simple inquiry. It has grown with the times and now residents can reach 311 by phone, online, or by social media. And whereas since the beginning of COVID-19 crisis, the 311 response team has taken unprecedented action to ensure Pittsburgh's residents still have access to their government. And whereas with the city of Pittsburgh's employees working from home, our Department of Innovation and Performance staff worked to move 311 from the city county building to a home-based system at an unheard of pace. And whereas since March 1st, the 311 response team has handled over 43,000 new citizen submissions with grace and agility. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, William Peduto, mayor of the city of Pittsburgh, do salute and commend the 311 response team for their hard work and dedication to the people of Pittsburgh during these unprecedented times. Awarding manager Wendy Urbanic, supervisors Naomi Johnson and Matthew Klink, full-time staff members, Michelle Peroni, Wayne Wyant II, Jackie O'Toole, Janelle McClung, Jessica Jeffers, and part-time staff Tyler Long, Deb Balabek, Jessica Rowe Cook, and Drew Sansone, the Mayor Sophie Masloff Employee of the Month Award for September 2020. Furthermore, declaring Wednesday, September 30th, 2020 is 311 Response Team Day <laughs> here in our most livable city of Pittsburgh. Guys. That's awesome. Thank you. Wow, no, you're awesome. So here's the deal. This is, um, you know, named after Mayor Sophie Masloff who dedicated her life to public service and somebody who spent more time probably in city government than any mayor before her. And she understood the importance of what our job is. It's to take care of the people. And through this very, very trying time, when the people of Pittsburgh have needed you more than ever, you've stood up through the challenges and you've been able to do it. And I couldn't be more proud of you. And I wanted to take this moment today to say thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your happy hour tonight. Now you have something to celebrate a little bit more with. Uh, and uh, look forward to the day when I can come, up or come over and visit you uh, when we're all back together once again. Thank you so much. Thank have you. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. It's well earned. Congratulations. Thank you. So Thank much. you. you deserve it. Yay. Yeah.